And I want to talk about the Packers a little bit, bro. Check out the NFL playlist. Uh, the more support I get for the NFL videos, the more I will do them. And maybe even the spinoff platform. I was going to probably do a weekly show this week, this year, on the NFL. Then to get around to it, um, I had weddings and all type of stuff I had to go playing through. Don't let the Raider fat fool, fool you. I'm a Lion fan. I just like Raider gear. I don't have nothing against the Raiders, though. Don't have nothing unless you playing the Lions or, you know, they playing against a team that we need them to beat. Like, if we need uh, Seattle to beat, uh, we need Seattle to beat, uh, we need the Rams to beat Seattle, which Baker Mayfield not going to do shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, he almost, you know, he almost beat the, uh, the Packers, which would help Seattle, but he didn't. And he beat the Broncos, and we got their draft pick. Like, dude, just keep losing. We want you to win this week, though, but you know, you know it ain't going to happen. But I always love Baker Mayfield for beating Ohio State and putting a flag in the field. But nonetheless, nonetheless, um, and I'm leaving Walmart in the Subway cooking, which I don't really understand. I got a sensor loose in my car. I got to get that fixed. But yeah, Packers danger. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the reason why the Packers dangerous, they hot right now. Now the NFL schedule helped them out by giving them the last three to four on the road, I believe. And then the fourth one, the game that's being on the road, or three the last three of the four, the last three or four on at home. And the one uh, game being a road game was in Miami. That's a vacation from Green Bay. So, they invested a lot in that defense. Two Georgia boys starting to get it together. You know what I'm saying? They starting to adjust with I was with Darius Smith and, you know, they getting better. But the main thing about it is they playing with house money. NMC wide open, right? Packers getting hot at the right time. And Aaron Rodgers is at his best when he has no pressure on him. When there ain't no pressure for Aaron Rodgers, that's when they won the Super Bowl. I remember we knocked him out the game in Detroit. He had a concussion. He was gone. I don't know how long he was gone. A couple weeks. He got a chance to recharge his batteries. And they hit, and they hit a run. And I knew. And I knew. I knew how hot they was. And every start, everything started clicking. Their defense started clicking. James Stark started running the ball. I won money that whole playoff run. I cleaned up. I cleaned up on... I remember the whole run. I cleaned up on Eagles, Eagles, my big supporters, Eagle fans. Uh, I cleaned up on Atlanta Falcon fans. I cleaned up on the Chicago Bear fans. Thanks to Jay Culler for riding that bike. And I cleaned up on Stiller Nation. Nothing against none of the fan bashers there, other than Chicago. Fuck Chicago, but the Bears. I don't like them. Or Charleston Rice, I don't like them. But it's, you know, fairly well. I got a lot of great good dudes I know in Chicago, but yeah, F the Bears, right? But they cleaned up. And right now, Aaron Rodgers don't have no pressure, bro. And when they are high seed, they ain't Lambeau, and they expected to beat the San Francisco 49ers, are they up? Whatever it was Seattle and they expected to win, Aaron Rodgers don't do good when it's expectations. He ain't no crush time quarterback like that. When they no expectations, and they can fly under the radar, that's when he had his best. And that's when you need to watch out for that. With that defense, the way they play, you know, and with no expectations on Aaron Rodgers, and everybody counting them out. Or oh, they have to play San Francisco, they get in. That'll be the one time he busts San Francisco ass. That's a bad matchup. Trust me to believe me. Because the way that defense playing, they're going to expose Black Purdy. Mark my words. Aaron Rodgers get in versus San Francisco, they will beat San Francisco. Mark my words. Don't ask me completely why. I just know how Aaron Rodgers tick and how, how he tick. He gonna play the greatest game of his life. 
and they gonna hop right back on Aaron Rodgers bandwagon. Mark my words. Mark my words. He gonna come, beat San Francisco, and they number two seed. And I wouldn't be surprised if they rolled that shit to the Super Bowl. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. I would not be surprised. He don't have no pressure on him. None. None. None whatsoever. So he can walk around, do what he want to do, and that's what he going to do. They going to play relaxed. There's no pressure, no expectations, and that'll be the team that run. You look at the NFC, don't nobody scare you but the Eagles. And the only reason the Eagles really scare you is the amount of talent that the Eagles possess, and they got a little bit of experience in the playoffs last year versus Buffalo. I mean, not versus Buffalo, versus the Buccaneers. I'm telling you how this works, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, dude. That dude, he ain't got no real expectations. Oh, this nigga gonna ball. Now, the minute they start putting expectations, they be the favorite, man, that's when he gonna wither again. Aaron Rodgers is great when there's no tension in the room, when there's no pressure on him. He's excellent. He ain't John Elway who's gonna stand there and you know, give you the drive at your mo at the worst you know situation. You know, no, he he ain't that gutsy quarterback. He can, you know, St Stafford can they used to do it in Detroit sometime. The, the, the sun shine on the dog hind side every now and again, every blue moon. You know, but he ain't he ain't that guy that's gonna drive that. He ain't me in the top ten quarterback of all time. I pick up. Shit, I can find 20 quarterbacks I'd rather have with the ball in the hand than I need a touchdown or a field goal other than Aaron Rodgers. Just being real. You know? But when it's pressure on him, you know, I, I feel he beat the Lions. Especially if the Lions, if Seahawks win, I mean, if Seahawks lose, he going to beat the Lions. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I love my team, but I know how that shit go. We got to play them in the refs. <laughs> When the Seahawks win and we ain't got shit to play for, oh, he gonna be in trouble. He might fuck around and lose to Detroit, though, to be honest. To be honest with you, he might mess around and lose to Detroit in that scenario. But it, it, I don't see the Seahawks losing to Baker Mayfield in the ring. I just don't see it. So we gonna be out. We can't start one and six as Lion fans. Check out my Detroit channel, Motor City Sports Talk. We can't start off one and six and, and expect to make the playoffs. It is what it is. We had a lot of winnable games that we should have won if you care. We ain't win them. So I ain't going to sit here and bitch complain. A season don't come down to a play. A season don't come down to a game. Season, you got all this regular season. Let's just Super Bowl to do what you got to do. You know, you got all regular season. These handicap spots. Be Damn, there's a whole bunch of people in here. Dude. Damn, why don't they go home and cook? No, I got a good parking spot. She was bagged out, but I ain't no lady. Good parking spot. I'm thinking about to change my trajectory, but it is. I'm here. But uh, but yeah, man, yeah, yeah. He gonna be hot as fish grease, man. And uh, they get in, no pressure. Don't be surprised if the Packers run the table, man. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notification, increase your chance in notifications. We go live and drop video. Shout out to the NFL playlist for more videos like this. Hit my link tree. Find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, and Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, and a bunch of other places. Peace.